Good day everyone, in the news now is an article that everyone should be aware of and this is with regards to your personal cell phone and in this headline in my broadband it says research shows the data your phone's Wi-Fi scanning exposes. So when you're out and about with your phone, it's got a transmitter, it's communicating with towers all the time. And when it's communicating with towers, there's certain information that other people can get from your phone just based on its scanning, not you doing anything with your phone. A recent experiment by researchers from the University of Hamburg has shown how smartphone Wi-Fi probing exposes sensitive information that attackers could use to steal sensitive data or compromise a device. Wi-Fi probing is a standard function that lets mobile devices rapidly connect to Wi-Fi hotspots. It works by broadcasting probe requests to find access points a device had previously been associated with. So when you're traveling around, your device remembers the various spots that it connected through, making it easy for a smartphone, tablet or laptop to reconnect to a Wi-Fi network it recognizes from a previous session that you were on through that connection. To establish a potential uh, security flaws in this process, the researchers set up six antenna in a busy pedestrian area near the center of a German city to capture Wi-Fi probes in several channels. Over three hours, they captured 252,242 probe requests in the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi spectrum bands. I told you the 60 gigahertz thing is absolute fake phony twack. They pulled uh, 58,489 SSIDs or network names, many of which contain numeric strings that the researchers surmise were possi possibly the default passwords from two brands of German home routers. That is likely because some users accidentally input the password instead of the SSID name when manually connecting to a hidden network that does not broadcast its SSID. And that way they can get all of your password and access your network. I quote, leaking passwords in SSIDs is especially critical if along with the password, the device also broadcasts a true SSID, either correctly or with a mistype that can be used to infer the true SSID, the researchers explained. And I quote, the assumption that the sniffed passwords corresponds to SSIDs that were also transmitted could additionally be verified by setting up fake access points on the fly using the potential credentials we observed. So then other people could actually find the details that they need. Among the other SSIDs, the researchers captured strings from store Wi-Fi networks, 106, 106 distinct names, three email addresses, and 92 holiday homes or accommodations added as trusted networks. Aside from exposing your personal location history, attackers could use the information to set up rogue access points using the real SSIDs and get users to connect to that Wi-Fi network by mistake. In that way, malicious actors could steal data or deliver dangerous payloads to a device. Intelligence services use this across the globe. South African ethical hacking team SenseBot, now a part of Orange Cyber Defense, have long warned about the dangers of Wi-Fi probes, although many websites use encryption to make it difficult for attackers to capture your login details for online accounts and services they can still gather plenty of information about you just by observing your network traffic. And then of course, intelligence services as ways to access anything that they absolutely want. So nothing is secure in the digital domain just by you walking around with your phone and it probing where it can connect and using past history, hackers, can attack your device or get very sensitive information from it if you are not careful. Just be aware that in the future, Internet of Things and Internet of All, there will be no more security of anything. There will be no more firewalls, protection, privacy, or anything like that. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon if you want more content like this and you will find the link to this article in the description below this video so that you can go and look at the details. You will also find it in the first comment together with all my other social media links. Thank you very much till the next video.